Phoenix Suns are in Flagstaff this week for training camp. This is the fourth year in a row that the Suns have been in Flagstaff for training camp and the 20th overall time that they have held camp up here in the high country. That's right, and right now we have Jacob who's here to give us a little bit of what we can expect. And you know, you're telling me that this year is a bit of a re uh, rebuilding year. Yeah, it definitely is a rebuilding year. After the Suns fired Coach Hornacek midway through the season last year, they turned to former player Earl Watson to right the ship. This will be Watson's first year as head coach, and he has a young core to build around. With injuries last year, the Suns saw rookie Devin Booker step in and play big mi minutes, and he shined quickly, becoming a fan favorite. But with players coming back off of injury, the Suns are loaded at the guard position with Brandon Knight, Eric Bledsoe, and rookie Tyler Eulis. It will be interesting to see what the Suns do to manage all their minutes with all of that talent at one position. And they are also going to be doing some community outreach. Is yeah, that that's correct? yeah, that's kind of one of the perks that uh, we get as Flagstaff residents living in the High Country. When they come up here, uh, they get to just they'll be at the Sky Dome this Saturday at noon, where the Suns will end their week of practices here in the High Country, culminating in an inter-squad scrimmage. This is a free event, and there will also be an autograph session with the Suns players after the game is finished. Well, Jacob, if you want to do a reminder about the Phoenix Suns. Yeah, so there's a couple events for the public on Wednesday from 3 to 4 at the Verizon store on Route 66. There'll be a meet and greet with Stephen Hunter and the Suns Gorilla from 3 to 4. That's on Wednesday. And then on Friday night, the mayor will be hosting a trivia night with some former Suns players, and that will be from 7 to 9 p.m. All right.